Hey guys, today I'm going to show you how to use the Git Bash to check your code in the GitHub and pull the code, then create a branch, everything, all steps. Today we are going to talk about it and I'm going to show you all steps to using the Git Bash. Basically, who knows that Git Bash? So what is the advantage of the Git Bash? So let me tell you first the advantage of Git Bash. Let's say you are in a backend developer. If you are in a backend developer and you want to use the, some Eclipse IntelliJ tools to check your code and push your code from there itself. But if you are in a front end developer and you don't know that Eclipse IntelliJ or you don't use that tools because you are in a front end developer, then you have to use a Git Bash. Git Bash has a more features. You can do anything in the Git Bash. So today, so I'm going to show you how to use the Git Bash. Before we start on that, if you are new on my channel, please subscribe and smash the like button. Because if you have another vlog and if I upload another videos, you will have the first person to receive the notification regarding the new videos, and you will see my next videos on there. So then, let's get start on that. <laughs> Alright guys, first of all we need to go Google and download the Git Bash to install our Windows or Mac iOS. So I have already installed mine, so you should do yours. So if you have a Mac iOS or Windows, you will click, it will download and you just hit the uh, you just need to run the .exe format to go to the next 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 and it will install for you the git bash so i have already git bash so i'm not going to do that one it's easy you can do that so i will directly open my git bash and show to you if you are using the windows you have to click your left side of the mouse and if you right click in the left and you will see the git bash is installed to my windows if you have a mac ios then that will not that option will not come this way so because in a mac ios you do everything from the terminal itself so everyone knows in the mac so you just go from directly do everything in the terminal so we will have the windows so we will do that in the git version here to right click here and it will pop up for us like the git bash so i will make this as bigger for you guys to visible so i hope that will be much enough visible for everyone so that we can start on that all right first of all we need to set up and configure our ssh key that ssh key we will use for our local repository to connect to the github remote repository to directly push pull the code from there so it's a one-time setup and you have to do it if you didn't do it so that i'm going to show you who is the new for that and as i said it's a one-time setup and next time you don't need to repeat that uh, process all right so let's go on that okay so first of all we need to decide the where we want to create this ssh key so i will want to create that ssh key on my user directory so not the desktop i will go one more folder back so if i do pwf so right now on my user directory so from there i will type ssh then hyphen keygen then space hyphen t then rsa so it will ask you to, to enter the file which you want to save it. So this is the location I'm going to save the SSH key user dot and dot uh, SSH folder that we want to do. And this is the name of the file. So this is by default and I would like to keep that location. If you want to do some particular location, you can always give here your directory. So that I want to use default hit enter. Then it will ask you the passcode. So you have to give the passcode and remember for the feature. And you will repeat the use of the passcode to pushing the code, pulling the code. And that will be always the same. So I will give mine. I'll hit enter. And again, I'll give hit enter. So I will give again. I will give again. All right. So now it will uh, create the, it created the SSH key on my uh, user directory. So let's go there and verify it. So if I do lsltr and go to dot ssh, all right, so ssh, so I will clear the page. So now if I see here, I'm under the ssh folder, if I do lsltr, and now you see the ssh key is generated to under my user directory and uh, dot ssh folder. So that we need to do it. So, and we need to copy that ssh key and add that ssh key our git repository okay now we need to copy that ssh to do that uh, what i'm going to do it i will uh i will do something like a notepad to print on there 
and my id rsa then dot pap all right this is my ssh key i will copy that ssh key and i will go to my uh, git repository and this is my git repository and uh, from the left side you click and you will see the settings click on there and go to the ssh and G, uh, gpg keys click there and i have already eclipse ssh that i'm using my eclipse machine so i want to use ssh git bash for that so i will create a new and i will give the anything like something like a git bash ssh key something like that and i will give here my ssh that i copied so then get add ssh key the, we added our ssh key so what we have to do it now we will go back and we what we we will go back and we will do the next step so well, now we need to clone our code from the git repository so to do that first of all we need to create our local repository some directory and folders that we want to keep there so right now i am on the my user but i will go one more back folder and i will go to my desktop because i want to do it in there so on my desktop i will create one folder to clone my code and to make my local repository in there so let's get created i will say mkdr and i will name on the my folder name git bash and if i do ls and go to the git bash so right now i am on the folder that i created git bash so inside of this git bash folder we will clone our code so now we need to go our repository to clone our code to the github so what we have to do is so we will go here my repository on my repository on or i'm on right now on my master branch so from my master branch i will clone the code there is a here the code click on the code and the, here is ssh key and if you click on http there is http url so we need the ssh key because we are ssh so copy that so then go back to git bash i will type git clone and my url that i copied and hit enter okay it will ask you the fingerprint you will say yes and it will ask you the passcode that, that i did it first give it okay so it's almost done all right it's cloned our code now we need to initialize our git repo so what i have to do it i will type git unit so i will type just a git unit okay it's initialized our repository and now i'm on the master branch on my local repository so i will clear the page if i do in the pw so i'm on there now let's check that repository so we have right now in the master so we go to the smart tag and you will see that here so i'm sorry it's upper king so here's our master branch that i'm inside so that's my repository on there and we have image and readme.md file it is the same thing on here you will see here it's the image and readme.md file so that's same so that's cool we are connected so what we have to do it now we need to uh, create a, a new file to add a new uh, changes to the github so what i have to do is let me create new file so i will say touch and i will say simple dot txt okay it created the new file over us here that so now it's it's empty if you do if i do check on there it's empty because we did not add any comment on there so let's add that comment there so what i have to do it i will say the notepad then sample.txt and it will open and i will say uh, welcome to smart tag channel just a just a text that you know for the pushing the code i will save it and i'll close it now i'll check that one more time so our file so now you'll see that welcome to smart tech channel so that, that's good so we added our text so in that file so now what we will do it we will push this changes so new changes to the git repository so before doing that we need to you know add our username in the email to our github account so we should uh, configure that our username and email in the github account so that will help us also one time you know set up that's a one time setup so you don't need to worry about next time so what i have to do is i will type git then config then i'll hyphen hyphen global then i will say the user dot name and i will give my name and my last name is just a shortcut and hit enter so let's add our gmail also hyphen hyphen global 
user dot email then our email is going to be that uh, email that you're going to send regarding the github so that's my email okay i will just hit enter all right we added now we need to check if it's added successfully or not to do that i will say github config then hyphen hyphen l last all right so now you will see here our uh, email and the gmail e email which is a username already added in there so here all steps that we have on my account so that's good so i will clear the page so now let's push the changes to the github so i will say git space add we will we should add first so add it so now you need to commit before you push you do always this thing is on the git bash or in the any git so you are going to push the code so you will say git commit hyphen m and then you will give the whatever text you want to give so first of all make sure if you're working in a new environment like a, in a real environment in a company so you will have to some jira ticket number or branch name so you have to always give here jira ticket or something branch name if you want to if you want to push the code to the you know github so there is some restriction on organization but it depends on all organization but this is the how it works for most of the organization so for any case i'm giving them my master and i will say this is the new changes for master branch okay so i'll hit enter and as you see there is a one file change it with that we did it and that says sample.txt file that's showing us we just created so now we need to push this changes git push origin then master which is we are going to push in the master branch okay i'm going to give my passcode all right so now it's pushing our code so it's already pushed it to the master branch so we have to check that i will go to my git repository and i will refresh my page so i will go again to my store so now you will see here sample.txt file is created that's good so we push the one file changes to the git repository so if you go to inside and you will see also the text that we type it on there welcome to smart tech channel so that's good thing so now we need to you know now you know how to push the code to the master branch and how to clone everything you know how to do configure and that's good to you know and now we need to do one thing let's do one exercise let's do the you how to you know switch the other branch how to push the other branch not only the master branch so i'm going to do it for the my one of the my branches so let's go to the branches which you want to do it let's go to the for loop branch so the for loop branch so there is a code there that i coded so for the java programming language to loop condition so you can you know always clone it to use it for you and just a fia and let's create here new file and do the same exercise so before that i will go to my git bash and i will say the git i will say check out and what is that it is for loop this is the branch i want to check out not the master branch this is the branch i want to switch i will hit enter and if you see here it will switch the new branch for the loop so from the master branch it switched to the for loop branch so that's good so now we are inside of the for loop so if i do lsltr and you will see the crs and the readme.md file there so which is the same on their crm the slash loop and that's the readme file there so now we have to you know put the new changes so let me create a new file again for there so i will say touch i will say the new file.txt okay it's created right now so we have here new file.txt now we will put on there some word i will say note pad then new if you go inside and this is a new change for loop all right so and i will save this and now we have saved it so let's check on there if i say new and this is the new changes for loop so that's good so now what we have to do it we have to push these changes so before we push these changes i have to commit first so i need to first add git add dot and then git commit 
hyphen m then what is going to be commit so commit is going to be first my branch name for loop then this is my new changes all right so i'll hit enter okay this is the file change we did it and this is the file that we created that's good now it's ready to push the code to git repository for the for loop branch and i will say for there here i will say git push origin sorry origin then what's the branch it's a for loop then hit enter okay now it's going to push that new changes to for loop i will give my passcode and now it push it to the code to the for loop so what i have to do i will go here on my git repository i will refresh the screen and you will see the less than one minute ago someone is pushed the code to the for loop branch so that's me so that's a new file.txt if you see the 44 seconds ago that we did it if you go inside and you will see this is the new changes for a loop so now guys you know how to use the git bash to check your code in a github to push pull everything you know how to do that if you missed any steps if you didn't understand any steps that i showed you please leave it below the comment so then i will see you in the next videos Thank you.